Today's episode is brought to you by Subway. Uh, hey, what can I get you guys? Hey, could I try the rotisserie style chicken? Uh, sweet onion chicken teriyaki for me. Oven roasted chicken, please. Chicken and bacon ranch melt? Yeah, you got it. <laughs> so that's why they're called the chicken girls. <laughs> Subway, home of the chicken girls. Scuba diver. Scuba diver. Okay, got it. Ready? Yep, yeah. ready? Spin, jump, scuba diver. Yeah. <laughs> okay, what comes next? I think it's the pinky promise, so. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the pinky <laughs> promise. Okay, okay, let's try it. Okay. Spin. What are you guys up to? Astrid is teaching me your handshake. Yes. Okay, let me see. All right. Spin, Spin. jump, scuba dive. <laughs> Pinky promise. No, go. no, no, the pinky promise comes before the scuba dive. Oh, you're right, okay. <laughs> I can't believe you remember that I still. Know. Can I try? Yeah, let's <laughs> do it really slow. Right, so, spin. Jump. Pinky. Promise. Scuba dive. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Let's do it again. Yeah. How's my super talented, smart, athletic boyfriend doing? I made you these. <laughs> What'd I do to deserve these, huh? Nothing a girl can't make her amazing boyfriend brownies for no reason. Except I think there is a reason. I think you're trying to cheer me up since I botched the Millwood game. It wasn't your fault. Luna, I mess up every single play. You don't have to sugarcoat it. Well, why don't you just try one? There's Luna, you're more. literally sugarcoating it. I gotta go to class. Ty, wait. Forgot your brownies. <sighs> my mom won't answer any of my calls or texts. Mm hmm. Did you hear what I said? Totally. Ellie! I'm sorry, I just, I really have to cram. I told you Miss Henderson asked me to join the debate society. Can we talk about this later? Sure. Two menaces. <coughs> Thanks, I'm gonna try. <clears throat>
wonder if I'll ever laugh again. <clears throat> Quinn, it's time. Time for what? To, to get, get over Hamilton. Hamilton. I should have stayed home sick like Ernie did. Mm. Looks like someone needs a rebound. I second that. Mm. All those in favor? Terrific. Motion granted. What about Jesse? Mm, no, I'm not really into that whole hip survive. What about Flash? Never mind. Hey, Ryan. Hey, Wes. Oh, hey, Astrid. What about him? He is pretty cute. I don't think he's your type. Yeah, I work with him at Juniors. I definitely don't think you're compatible. <sighs> I'm sorry if I'm scaring you Don't speak my mind as much as you want me to No, I get silent when I lose control I feel much safer when the lights are low Won't hold back I'll be me for you I know there's not somebody who can replace you Pick me up when I'm Okay, today you. I'm gonna pair you for your book report project. We got Tiffany and Gina, Brittany and Evan, Wes and Ryan, Julia and Tim. So get together, share your numbers, and bring back a good report. I just wanted to say that I'm super psyched we're partners in English class. You are? Yeah, you're like really smart. Thanks. We're too. Do you want to hang out sometime, like, in a non-school related way? Uh, I am actually, I, th I think I'm busy. Like, all the time? Well, no, I just, I think, maybe. OK. Cool, I will take a maybe. <laughs> cool. All right, well, I got to go. Yeah. Attaway Peel meeting. See you soon. Uh -huh. See ya. Your call has been forwarded to an automatic voice message system. Hey, Rune. I'm just checking in. I haven't heard from you all day, and I was just wondering if you were going to make it to driver's ed. I hope you are. Anyways, call me back. Say it. He loves Subway. Everyone loves Subway, Quinn. Not just Hamilton. There's a whole entire world outside of him. He's just a man. Or just a boy. But chicken subs were our thing. Every time I look at one, I just I think of him. Then think of someone else. Like who? Here, you uh forgot your drinks. Thanks. Oh, no problem. Have a good one. How about him? He was looking at me, right? Drink up. We're gonna need another round of sodas. You need to pay up, man. Look, I'm trying to get the money. I need more time. 
tell you what. You'll have till end of day, and that's because you're a roach. What if I don't want to be a roach? Come here. Toughen up. If you haven't figured it out yet, you're not in Malibu with your mom anymore. So figure it out. Give me my money. Hey, babe. How was your day? You made your day. Luna, I told you I was fine. But you'll always be number one to Luna, me. why can't you just stop? It's too much. Anyone seen Rooney Forrester? How was your day? Well, I actually got partnered up to work with Rhyme on this big book report. Oh, cool. Yeah, she's, um, she's really smart. Totally. Do you mind if I, um, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll be right back. Okay. Wearing a seatbelt is one of the safest choices you can make on the road. They prevent drivers and passengers from being ejected during a crash. They work in tandem with airbags because the force of airbags alone can seriously injure Of all the age groups, teens have the lowest rate of seatbelt use. In fact, teens who say their parents set house rules are twice as likely to- Bertie, please stop yelling. I wonder where I get it from. Ew, why are you so sweaty? And encourage their teens to buckle up. Hey, are you okay? Drop all your arm, for example, can also put you at risk. If your car's an older model, you should get a check for seatbelt quality. Hey, how are you feeling? Yeah, a little better. More like myself again. This. this is my life's work, my opus, if you will. <clears throat> Exhibit A, meatloaf served on Mondays at Attaway High School Cafe. Here, the fashion piece on Rhea. Perfect timing. Thank you. I'll take a look at this. I'll get back to you on that. Just hurry up, I have places to be. This is a good start, but I'm thinking that maybe we do one more pass through that's just a little bit nicer. Emphasize her distinctive looks and her bold choices, and don't just judge her style. I think I would know more about style than you. All right, but we are not printing this article like this, so if you want to publish, then you better get me a revised version by tonight. Well, you're the editor. Why don't you do it? Brian, hey. How was the appeal? You know, maybe I'm just not cut out to run a newspaper. Hey, 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 none of that. You're a fearless leader standing at the helm of this prestigious publication guiding the masses. <laughs> you're so weird. You know, I actually need a guy's perspective on something. Oh? You see, there's this guy, and he's super funny, and smart, and so sweet. But two girls like him, and it's never good to let some guy get in between a friendship, right? Go on. Okay, well, the first girl doesn't want to hurt the second girl's feelings by going for the guy that they both like. Yeah, that's tough. I guess you, I mean, she should just follow her heart. Thanks.
Robbie? Hey. What are you doing here? Uh, just looking for you. Okay. Well, I wanted to tell you all about Debate Society. Mrs. Henderson is the best. <gasps> Next time on Chicken Girls. I was wondering if I could cash in on that. Maybe you gave me about hanging out some time. Sorry I didn't return your text. It was kind of in a funk. The other day after debate let out, Mrs. Henderson said money was taken from her bag. For the next few sessions, we are going to be talking about healthy relationships. Anyone?